I'm Simon Quinnell and I'm a professional development leader at the National Science Learning Centre. And today I'm going to show you some really exciting science demonstrations for the Christmas table. This demonstration is using a Christmas and party staple of jelly. Now jelly is made of gelatin and that's what gives it its structure, it turns it into a solid. And you may have noticed on the back of some jelly packets it says not to introduce pineapple to jelly or kiwi fruits or papayas. And what we've got here is some pineapple and we're going to test out why we shouldn't introduce it to jelly. So I'm going to introduce some fresh pineapple has to be fresh to the jelly and just give it a very slight mix together and we're going to see what effect this has on the structure. Now it takes a few minutes to get working And so you should be able to see now that the jelly is liquefied and that's because the pineapple contains an enzyme that breaks down the gelatine, um, breaking down the structure and turning it back into a liquid. And it's the pineapple's natural defense mechanism. The pineapple tree contains lots more of this enzyme that breaks down gelatine and gelatine comes from collagen, which is a protein that we have that keeps all our cells together. It's a connective protein in our bodies. And when an animal eats the pineapple tree, it starts to get a stinging sensation in its mouth. And that's the protein from the pineapple breaking down the surface or the lining of the mouth, causing the animal to stop eating the pineapple tree. So it's a natural defense mechanism. And some people are quite sensitive to this. And you do often find if you eat too much pineapple in one go, you get a stinging sensation. And that's the enzyme just acting on your collagen in your mouth.